I'm Terry Ryasak, Creative Specialist for the Foundry. Let's take a look at the color correct soft effect in the timeline. I'm going to select my foreground footage, right click, and under effects, choose color correct. The color correct is a very powerful tool because we have control over our master, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And we can define these three areas using the ranges tab. So I'm going to jump over to ranges and select test. So what we're looking at is an overlay of those three areas. So if we were to look at the shadows, we'd be looking for these black pixels. And you can see it throughout his hair and in the eye area and the mouth and around the shirt. The midtones are represented by the gray pixels. And we can see that they're the majority of this footage. The highlights are represented by the bright white pixels. So if we can see down here, we have some. So not too many highlights, but we can have them in a little bit of an area here. So the green pixels and the pink pixels or purple pixels represent the transition from one area to the next. So it's important sometimes to have these nice soft transition when we're going from one area to the next. So we have our shadows and highlights and that curve is controllable. We're able to manipulate that. And whatever we do to that shadow and highlight curve is going to define our midtone curve. As you see, we can't select it. So I'm going to grab the highlights and start to pull back. I want to get some definition of highlights in his face. So we're going to start to pull back this end of the curve, grab the other, and pull back as well. And now we can see some area of definition for the highlights. So now maybe in the shadows, I'm just going to bring the shadows up a little bit, just like that. So we have some nice transitions from the shadows. A bit of a harsh drop off on the highlight on his face, but that's okay because it is going to be a highlight that I want to enhance. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the highlight area and gain up, and we can see that area that's being affected now. So I'll just add some additional gain into the highlights. Now maybe for the shadows, I'm just going to increase the gamma slightly overall. And he's a bit saturated, so let's go to the master area, and we're going to lower the saturation. Okay, so we've done some color correction to our foreground plate, but the background plate it has a bit of a color cast on there, and we can see this sort of blue tone. So let's try and help that out. I'm going to go ahead and hide the foreground. Let's just rearrange our workspace here and add a histogram. And we can see right away that the shadow area of this plate, the blue is just spiking up and we want to get that back under control. So what we can do is select our footage, right click effects and add a grade. And the black point is going to affect the shadowy area. The white point is going to affect the highlights and the midtones will be adjusted by that as well. So I'm going to open up the black point and start to just pull those blues back in so that they're stacked on top of our red and our green. Just like that. So now we have a much better looking plate. If we look at the before and after, we've removed that blue color cast completely. So I'm going to reset the workspace. And what I want to do now is let's add another video track. So I'm going to right click and new track and video track. And I'm going to add another effect here. So I'll add a grade that's going to be a sequence based grade. So it's going to cover the entire sequence. So let's just go ahead and warm this up a bit. And now we've done some color correction directly inside the timeline.